Good morning everyone. Uh, now as you can see there is no seal with me as of yet. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to talk for a couple of minutes uh, just so that we can get uh, some, give some people some time to be able to uh, log on and watch our live stream. Now uh, over the last couple of weeks we have been going live uh, three days a week um, uh, but we've now gone down to one day a week. Uh, that is because we have uh, um, uh, been getting a lot of positive feedback from a lot of uh, educational workers. They have been sending us messages uh, and emails letting us know uh, that they have actually been uh, uh, using these live streams as part of their uh, educational tools. Uh, and uh, we just want to give a big shout out to all of our education workers. Uh, they have been doing a fantastic job. Uh, if you watched our live stream last Thursday, uh, you would have have noticed that a lot of us uh, we've all gone through and done a lot of extra education such as university uh, so education is such an important thing uh, and we just want to give a big shout out to all of those education workers they have been doing a fantastic job for all of those kids out there uh, and uh, we do have um, a few uh, people that have uh, uh, given us a few shout outs and shared our videos on their social medias as well so thank you so much for your support during this time. Uh, now, uh, we do want to let you know that uh, we are in Coffs Harbour. So Coffs Harbour is in New South Wales. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of New South Wales uh, on uh, uh, the east coast. Uh, we uh, have uh, just started whale migration, uh, so there is lots of beautiful humpback whales coming through. Uh, a lot of us, we're still in shorts, uh, dresses. It is lovely and warm. Uh, so it is a great place. So when things do go back to normal, uh, have a think about coming and visiting Coffs Harbour and us here at Dolphin Marine Conservation Park. Now, uh, uh, during this time, uh, please uh, uh, leave in the comments where you're from uh, so that we know how far we are actually reaching. Uh, this is a, a, a fantastic way for us to be able to interact with everyone uh, that's watching our live stream videos. Now, uh, today we are going to be doing our Meet the Seal. This is an interaction that we do uh, provide to our guests uh, when we are open. It's a five minute interaction where you get the opportunity to meet one of our beautiful Australian sea lions. So I'm going to introduce to you now uh, our trainer, Alice, and we have one of our beautiful Australian sea lions, Ellie. So here we go. Hi, good morning everyone, and welcome to our live stream this morning. This morning I have one of our beautiful sea lions down here by the name of Ellie. Oh, she's a bit short. I hope you can see her. She's our shorter sea lion. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone throughout the interaction, so if you get to start posting those questions, we can get to um, answering some of those towards the end of our live stream. We can show you any of those questions that you might have on Ellie today. Good girl. Now, we do have two guests here to show you what it would be like if you were to do this interaction today. So we are going to get started with our interaction. So I'll get my guests to come on around. And everybody, please say hello. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Now, Ellie <laughs> is a 25-year-old Australian sea lion born right here at our park. You are both welcome to come on over and start giving Ellie some pats as long as you're not patting around her head and face as she does have the longest whiskers out of all of our sea lions here at the park. They are very ticklish and very sensitive. Now, Australian sea lions do live to typically their late teens or their early 20s. So as you can imagine, at 25 years old, Ellie is a little bit on the older side. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed Ellie, you have done a lot for your species. She does actually have two children. One of them is called Ozzy, he is a father here at our park. She's also the grandmother of our latest addition Hugo. She also has another son by the name of Tasco. He now lives all the way at Adelaide Zoo. Now to get started, what we typically might do is have a cheeky little photo with our Australian sea lion. So what I might do is get one of these girls to hop up on the bench at the back there and Ellie is going to join you for a little cuddle and a cheeky photo. Here we go Ellie. 
if she has no sense of personal space, so she will get in nice and close together with you. <laughs> and Yvette, if you want to wrap your arms around Ellie, this is the kind of photo that you might get with her. Sometimes the sea lions are a little bit cheeky and they might pull a silly face in that photo. She's been very good today. <laughs> And if you'd like to swap on over with Sasha, so Sasha can have a turn at a cuddle with Ellie. And go for it, get in nice and close. As you can see, Ellie is very comfortable, very much enjoying all of these cuddles with everybody. Oh, and she's got her silly face on now. She's got her little tongue sticking out. <laughs> Alrighty, we might hop one up and why don't we give Ellie a few fishy treats. Now Ellie here eats about 5-10% to 10 of her body weight in fish every single day. So I might get a vet to give her one of her favourite fish to eat which is called a pilchard. This is a lovely little fatty fish. Good. Here we go, so I'll give you that one. Hold that by the tail, hold it straight out in front of you. And Ellie will come and steal that from a vet. Alrighty, here she comes. Yummy! As you saw, not much chewing required. It does go straight down the hatch. You can see all those beautiful teeth. They're not quite pearly white. They're more of a black colour. That's quite normal for a sea lion. And Sasha, if you like to come around, you can also give Ellie a fish. This time... I've got a special one for Sasha. We've got a slimy squid. There you go. That's another one of Ellie's favourite fish to eat. Are you ready? Here she comes. She couldn't wait for that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to play a little game of fetch with Ellie. This is one of her favourite games to play with our guests. So I might get a vet to come around. She can throw the ball out for Ellie. She's going to go find it and bring it back to a vet. Alrighty, yeah, go for it anywhere. Sometimes Ellie can't wait to go straight for it. Alrighty, off you go, Ellie. And Yvette, if you have your hands out, she'll come and find you. Good girl, Ellie. Very clever. And Sasha, do you think you'd like to have a go? I think Ellie would love to have another turn at getting that ball. Alrighty, anyway. Well done, Ellie. And there she goes. Hold those hands out. Well done. And so if you want to stay there, I can grab that ball for you. And what you might see, I think Ellie would love a few back rubs from everybody here. Go for it. Now, Ellie here is an Australian sea lion. This is a species which can only be found on Australian coastlines and Australian waters. Some of their biggest threats are Australian fishing industry. Some of the biggest threats are lobster fishing and also gillnet fishing. So one of the things that we can do to help save these beautiful animals is to make sure we do buy sustainable seafood. This is so easy to do. Nowadays, if you go to Coles and Woolies, you will see an MSC logo. These are on your fish fingers in the deli section, and they will indicate to you which fish and seafood products are sustainably caught and farmed. By just making these simple choices, it doesn't cost us any more, but it does help us save these beautiful animals. Now, this unfortunately does bring us to the end of our interaction today with Ellie. Ellie, if you'd like to say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> I hope you had fun meeting Ellie. Now, before we wrap up, I'd like to remind everyone, don't forget that you can head to the website um, and check out some of the information about the animals here at the park. And you can also head there to make a donation to our Rescue Foundation as well. Don't forget you can watch our past live streams, photos and videos on our social media, including our Instagram and Facebook. If you did only tune in part way through the interaction, you can re-watch that video there as well. Now I might check out with Tani if we do have any questions that came in and don't forget to let us know where you're from today. 
Uh, now, uh, yeah, we should. So that would normally uh, would be the end of uh, the interaction. So our meet the seal interaction. Uh, obviously, because we are doing the live stream, we will stick around for a bit longer and answer any questions that you may have. Uh, I have seen one and I'll answer that one. So someone has asked um, a, why we cut down the videos uh, because we received uh, compliments. So uh, what we uh, got from those uh, compliments was that, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I probably didn't explain it too well. So uh, what we understood is that they are trying to um, add that into their educational uh, program. Uh, and three can be a little bit much, especially now that we have started um, back our um, term, I think it's three now. Uh, so uh, we are sticking to now once a week on a Saturday uh, so that they're then able to add that into their educational program. Uh, and uh, it gives us a little bit of uh, uh, time to be able to come up with a good live stream for everyone as well. Now, uh, uh, a few other questions uh, that we've had come through is uh, where do Australian sea lions live? Uh-huh. Ellie, I think you might know the answer to that one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. So Ellie said most Australian sea lions live around South Australia, Kangaroo Island, and our Western Australian coastlines. Uh, this isn't a question, but oh. someone has sent through that they love Ellie. <laughs> oh, me too. She's one of my favorite seals here. Here we go. Uh, here we go. We've got a few others. Uh, how long can they stay out of water? So Australian sea lions, like most other sea lion species, will haul out on land. The haul out means that they'll actually come out of the water, they might lay on a beach or a big rocky cliff facing. They can actually do this for weeks on end. When an Australian sea lion has a pup, she might actually stay out of the water for a couple weeks to stay with that pup. They do get really dry and floppy, so they'll look like a fluffy teddy bear laying on the, the beach in the land. Overnight, our sea lions often will come out on land to have a sleep and during the winter time they'll spend a bit more time trying to stay dry so they can stay as warm as possible. Uh, someone has asked, which we probably yeah. don't know, but uh, I visited the park in 95, so I'm guessing 1995. Uh -huh. uh, is this the seal that came into the crowd and kissed someone? No, uh, no. Yeah, so she is 25, so she would have been born in 96. So, uh, no, it probably would have been one of our older generation seals, uh, but she's pretty close. <laughs> so Ellie's parents were born here at the park. You may have heard of some of our other sea lions. Probably would have been one of those guys. Here we go. Uh, oh, someone has asked how old is Ellie? I think I just answered yeah. that, but... Ellie, how old are you? You're 25! <laughs> she didn't like me saying her age again. <laughs> now everyone, I think we are going to start wrapping up. Don't forget, head to our website to get more information about the amazing work that happens here. And you can also make a donation to our Rescue Foundation there on the website. Um, don't forget to follow our Instagram and Facebook. You can watch these videos again, especially if you do um, have a class that you're teaching and you might find some of our information is quite relevant. We've got a lot more um, photos and stuff on our Instagram as well. If you did just tune in, don't forget you can re-watch that video again. So thank you so much for joining us today with myself and of course Ellie, one of my favourite sea lions.